For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you the Circuit Playground library inside of CircuitPython. So this is a bit of confusing naming, but for the Circuit Playground Bluefruit and the Circuit Playground Express boards, we have a very nice high-level library called Circuit Playground. This is a library that runs inside of CircuitPython and gives you super easy to use commands that are very consistent from one to the next in order to use the features that are specific to these boards. So you can see right now in my code, I have, uh, ignore this, this commented out stuff, but I have right here from Adafruit Circuit Playground import CP and then CP.redLED equals false. So I'm gonna change that to true and then I'm gonna save the code. And what you'll see here is when this reloads, the little red indicator LED up at the top is gonna to light up red. So you can see that little LED just lit up up there. So you see I didn't have to declare a pin to be a digital input output, set its direction, then set the value. It's usually about three lines to get that LED lit. Uh, you can see another example here where I'm gonna use not only the red LED. So you can see here, the first thing I'll do is say the red LED equals uh, the opposite of whatever the switch is doing. There's a little switch here. So I can read that switch just by saying cp.switch. What's its value? Then I've got a little variable here that I'm using to save the state so that I can essentially debounce the switch or not have it running all the time. And then in my main loop here, I'm saying if this CP switch is true, then we're gonna set the LED off. If it's false, we're gonna set the LED on. And that just has to do with the direction of the pull down resistor on that. So you can see here, I'm reading a switch with just this little simple command, if CP switch is true, or if CP switch is false. So these make things really straightforward and easy to use compared to the typical circuit Python, which is already not bad, but in a, particularly in an educational environment, if you're using these boards, either the Circuit Playground Bluefruit or the Circuit Playground Express, it's a really great way to go. And so that is an introduction to using the Circuit Playground library inside of Circuit Python. And that is your Circuit Python Parsec.